one fans deserve. Is this the number one club hit of all time? That's the question, right? 88 say yes. No, listen. Oh my God! This in the in, in high school. This got played in New York. This got played every single play. I mean, back then, you didn't go to clubs in high school. Yeah. Of course, of course. Right. What? Just sweating for no reason while you dancing to this, man. <laughs> you don't even have to be dancing like to start a, sweating. Like, like a high-end <laughs> Zumba class. It's working. They, uh, they all be of DeVos no, started a club in L.A. Called Mental Monday. Mm-hmm. Mental Monday? Yeah. That sounds Mental about right. Mental Night Mondays. And on a Monday night. Mental so. Night Mondays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, on a Monday night at the Palladium. Sounds like some crazy things popped off there. I just it was fine. You must have been in New York. Mars, the Octagon, all that thing, or that was that was, that was maybe. Gone. What about La Soul Kitchen and, and those places? No. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Listen. After Mahomes and Reed, which head coach quarterback duo scares you the most? Right? Is the one where you're like, oh man, that those two right there. That's a that's a combination. Who is it? Who jumps to mind? I go Mike McDaniel and Tua. Yeah. Like it's just of course, <laughs> of course I do, Key. Yeah. I mean, tell me why I'm wrong. I mean, I you, agree. tell me once again, Key. I go to the facts. The stats on the page say that these two, when they're together, they're undefeated. They play at a high level. Two is in the MVP conversation, and Mike McDaniel is in the Coach of the Year conversation. Yeah, the thing about stats is they're records of events, right? Now, <laughs> Key, you might say, well, you have to contextualize them. They don't mean all. They're not all weighted the same. That's true. But, like, boy, it takes – when the stats say something, it takes a lot of contextualizing, a lot of explaining to start explaining it away when it looks like it does with McDaniel and Tua, right? Yeah, McDaniel and Tua is fine. I, that's, that's a good, go. scary little you always use, option. You always who, who use else? words like – hold on, Matt. He always uses words like this to describe Miami. Yeah, that's fine. It's a scary little option. You what know, the like, hell you want me to say? I, I know. I just, I, I love you. You're my, well, you're like a big bro. I'm just saying, say? wait, you use these little demeaning words all the time. To describe, yeah, you know, it's they're fine. fine. I'm not like well, jumping well, down. Key, well, yeah, well, okay, Key, so, Key, he's on to something because there's a little, when Key <laughs> sees something. What's wrong with you? Here, Jay, Jay, you, Jay. When, Jay. You, when you don't want to give something to crazy, like, yeah, Jay, you were a good little guard. When he sees you know, something that makes. Why wouldn't I want to give you credit when you won two trophies in college? Why wouldn't I want to give you the credit when you won the two player of the year? trophies why number two. Oh, geez james hey, come on stop <laughs> jay when, when he track. sees something and he hears this in his mind he yo, says yo, nice, little. Know, <laughs> nice little <laughs> he <laughs> thinks oh, nice he sees two and mcdaniels he thinks tyree killed the whole thing on the smaller side um so go ahead who's your who's your head coach quarterback combination scary yeah like just somebody that's doing well you know I can go. Uh, <laughs> Are we going offense? It doesn't matter. Offense. Offensive minded Which, coaches? Yeah, I mean, unless unless you think there's a defensive minded coach who like, you know, someone like like the opposite of Billick who who was like an offensive guy who got known for defense because of the team he had. If there's something like that, do that too, sure. Yeah, but typically when you think scary, you probably think offense first, right? Yeah. Offensive mind. That's what yeah, I'm saying. So I'm trying mind. to I, I'm a, I'm gonna go Philadelphia. I'll go Jalen Hurts and Nick and Sirianni. Sirianni. Yeah, yeah, I see that yeah. all day. Yeah, I could go there. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. It's crazy, though. Because I was thinking Josh Allen and McDermott at yeah. first, but then I'm yeah. like. I mean, if you would have said last year, it would have been Sean McVay and what and, they have over there with the Rams, no right? Matthew question. Stafford. It's not even a question. It's funny how much that's dropped McVay off. still coaching? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, by the way, when it was Belichick and Brady, you could say that's scary, right? Even though he's known as a defensive a defense but coordinator. He, see, I don't look at Belichick as a de- defensive-minded coach. I look at him as a coach. Mm-hmm. You know? Coach Different. Harbaugh and Lamar Jackson, not scary though because because they don't give him they don't give him an alpha receiver. I mean, you know what's yeah Jalen hurts them. Yeah, but Jalen hurts. It feels like to me he's been pretty much Heineke <laughs> Rivera. <out> front. <laughs> yeah, that's not what jumps to mind when I think of scary coach quarterback combinations. Kevin O'Connell too, and and Kirk Cousins. I'm like. Nah. Yeah, I mean, they deserve to be in the conversation. I mean, we're putting Nick Sirianni there. I mean, Ain't no one's scared. Yeah, Nick Sirianni, coach, yeah, they no, but Nick Sirianni led his team to the playoffs last year. You know, this year looked like they're going to get the number one seed so far in the NFC, and Jalen Hurts is playing at the MVP level. level. You know, nice. They're doing some nice, fine little things in Philadelphia. So, <laughs> fine little things. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, once again, like, Tua yeah. and – you talk about what they have in Philly with Jalen Hurts. 
two quarterbacks in the MVP conversation, whereas Kirk, we're still having this conversation about, you know, is he a top 10, top 15 quarterback? And Why is it that when you look at Cincinnati, Joe Burrow and those weapons scare me, but if you say Zach Taylor, it doesn't feel the same Because he almost lost way. his job before he got to the Super Bowl. Is that a scary combination? Like when they when they're low when they are healthy, key that that it offense is, well, right think, there put I a point to it. What hurry. it is is he doesn't get any credit, Zach Taylor. Mm-hmm. He he's a guy who is the guy in school who gets all the A's all the time, and everybody like man, don't nobody care about him. Hey, well, how's your grade? <laughs> yeah, right. You no, know, it's it's that's who he is. He just that type of coach where. No matter what Cincinnati does, it's going to fall on Joe Burrow. He's young. Because he, Joe Burrow's more exciting <laughs> than their coach. Exactly. And he's more important to that team than their coach because they'll move on from Zach Taylor yesterday and keep Joe Burrow. All right. Brian in Vegas, quarterback-coach combination. Scariest other than Mahomes and Reed. Well, well first of all, Mahomes and Reed is not even scary at all. Okay, how many points did you score in the second half of the AFC Championship last year? Uh, so how scary is that? So stop saying it. They've hosted it's four game. consecutive okay, AFC Championship game. games. What are you talking about? They've hosted four okay, consecutive well, I, I, I AFC Championship winners. games. I want winners. I want winners. They won a the Super Bowl. Because he's the best coach in football. McVay. He's the best coach in football, and he took Matthew Stafford to a Super Bowl champion. But I'm going to tell you something. What about this year? Hold on. Well, the, what about this year? Oh, want me to tell you the duo next year? I'm going to tell you the duo next year, and you heard it here first. Lincoln Riley and Mr. Aaron Rodgers, because Lincoln Rodgers could be a new head coach of Green Bay Packers next year. You heard it here first. That would be the next super duel. But as of right now, it's Stafford and McVay. Hey, man, it's time to go back into your room in Vegas. He has been up all night. chill, because you've been up all night long with that Lincoln Riley mess. That ain't happening. And also, like, oh, wait, listen to, the, listen to the logic. I love it. He's not going to the pros. I like winners. Making the type of money I like winners. It. You already USC, are. USC is the pros. Yeah, exactly. You're that already happened. in the pros. I like winners. McVay and, and, McVay and, 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 and Stafford. But they, but they have a terrible record this season. Yeah, but how many points did the Chiefs score in the second half of the AFC Championship game last year? The guy wanted to argue. Uh, he, uh, he's been up all night, and he's, uh, you know. Go back to your hotel room. Not in his right mind. Nothing all right. being up all LeBron night. James, guys, he's disappointed by, uh, uh, by the fact that he hasn't been asked questions about a Certain guy. picture of Jerry Jones at an important moment in American history in 1957 when they were trying to integrate schools in Arkansas and a lot of white young white men stood there and tried to intimidate, essentially, the kids who were walking in. And uh, Jerry Jones was one of those white men, although he says he was just curious. They haven't been asking him. They've been asking Kyrie questions, though, about something Kyrie did. LeBron wants to know about that. We're going to dive into that coming up. Keyshawn.